All right, we got the Cro-Magnon set up again. It's gonna take some shots of the nine millimeter. I got a couple hundred rounds, and then some 223. Just uh, we're gonna try to get a life expectancy here today. You can see this is just from the last time we shot it. Uh, oh, that's the bubbles. So like you can see, still good shape. A couple little holes in it. Gotta, we're gonna step back, take some shots at it. All right, we haven't had anything in his right shoulder. So we're gonna shoot a 45 ACP through there. You can see the back, there's no exit holes. We're gonna shoot it right on his right shoulder. Very nice. All right, as you can see, the, just one, one hole on his right shoulder. That's from that 45. Coming out the back, just one exit hole. Very small exit hole. So definitely stretches back to shape. We're gonna get a lot of life out of this. All right, I pushed the Cro-Magnon down here to the 100 yard range. Uh, we did two mags of the 223 at a pistol ranges. It was only 20 yards. So obviously the, the damage coming out the back is really severe. So I moved it down here to the 100 yard side just to show you what you should expect at rifle range with rifle calibers. Uh, it's going to be a lot less than that. That was from where I was shooting with the 9mm and then uh, 20 yards with 5.56. So we got his left shoulder, we got it fresh, got a little target piece put up here. We're gonna hit him about 15 times in his shoulder, then we'll do a damage assessment. And a, a good thing about me doing that damage is I planned on this shoot and then one more shoot and then being able to do the, the repair kit. You know, that's, that's what I wanna do. Uh, I need an excuse to get it. So I'm really trying to tear it up a little bit, show you how easy it is and how well it works. So. Uh, here we go, I'm gonna step back, I'm gonna run back. This is at the 100 yard range. We're gonna shoot about 15 rounds in his left shoulder. All right, we'll see and edit, but I hope that caught it. You've seen uh, as we miss, we hit one of them center bars. We had a huge cloud of smoke coming out. That was that was really cool. Uh, didn't get as good as I wanted with that, uh, that ACOG scope, so I'm going to load up five more out of my 10 power scope, and uh, we'll take some more shots at it. Mm -hmm. 
All right, got a little bit better results. Uh, you can see some entries. You know, got a few of them, a few skimmed up top. But you can see there's the entry holes. And definitely what I was hoping for is uh, the exit holes, very, very tiny. I mean, hardly no damage. So. I expect you should be able to shoot this several thousand times if you actually shoot it at rifle distance. But that's it for this video. That was Cro Magnon targets, tons of nine millimeter, a few hundred 223. Still got one more range day before we take out one of the repair kits. Give a little bit more of this gone, and uh, got to make it worth it. Thank you everybody for watching. Again, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like button, and go check them out, cromagnontargets.com. The link will be below. Thank you. I also want to show you a good chunk of this uh, damage. Was whenever you see that steel bar inside. When it hits a steel bar, it just turns to shrapnel and starts tumbling. That's what made a lot of that. But uh, that's definitely good. That pair kit's gonna refill all of that. And uh, we'll see you in edit, but like I said, hopefully, Whenever I hit that bar, when I had the camera back here, you can see it. This is a really big puff of smoke. Very cool. Uh, that's it.